What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back to my channel. Do me a favor, just getting started out here on YouTube, as you can tell. Uh, got a lot of things to talk about. The world done flipped upside down. Hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you join me on this journey. All right, let's get into this. Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, I'm sure by now you all know who he is. Um, <clears throat> the story just came out today. So I wanted to bring it to you guys. Bail set at $2 million for Kyle Rittenhouse at initial Kenosha court appearance. All right. Do me a favor. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the share button. Leave me a comment. I want to know what you guys think about this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to know what you guys think about if Kyle should even be in jail right now, let alone sitting in jail on a $2 million bail. Um, to me, my honest opinion is that it's absolutely insane that this kid is in jail on a $2 million bail right now. Let's read the story. All right, so Kenosha County Commissioner set bail at $2 million for Kyle Rittenhouse at his first Wisconsin court appearance Monday after being extradited from Lake County, Illinois on Friday afternoon. Rittenhouse, 17, 17, not legally an adult yet, faces homicide charges for the August 25th shootings during the civil unrest that followed the police shooting of Jacob Blake, who was left paralyzed two days earlier. Uh, the Rittenhouse was charged... With killing Joseph Rosenbaum of Kenosha, 36 of Kenosha, and Anthony Huber, 26 of Silver Lake, and wounding Gage Grouskruz, 22 of West Dallas. His attorneys say he acted in self defense, um, which I'm quite sure that's, well, I mean, I guess there's a huge swath of people that don't believe that. I mean, clearly. Um, during a Zoom, Hearing Court Commissioner Lauren Keating said he considered Rittenhouse a flight risk given the fact that he faces decades or even life in prison if convicted and might have help might have the help of thousands of supporters nationwide if he decides not to return to court. So they're looking at what's going on is they're looking at this kid like he's some kind of militia member that he's looking at, okay, I could get life in court here, I'm gonna get out of here and uh you know, get all raise all this money, and these guys are going to keep me hidden underground. I say, this nonsense. He's a 17 year old kid, seemed like a decent kid, went to high school. Uh, and this is the last thing he needs is, the, is this nonsense. And yeah, it, he went there, he showed up, and you know, he could have avoided it at all. But you know what? My opinion on this thing is the police weren't doing their job. If the police aren't doing their job as a citizen, are you just going to sit by and watch the, you know, your life's work get destroyed, buildings and businesses get burned down, people getting assaulted. Like, the if the police aren't going to do it, somebody's got to do it. Unfortunately, it had to be the 17-year-old kid that had to step in and, and do what the police weren't doing. It's a shame. All right, I'm not going to go off on a tangent here. Assistant District Attorney Thomas Binger suggested Keating maintain the $2 million bail set by Circuit Court Judge Mary Short on Rittenhouse's arrest warrant in August. Defense Attorney Mark Richards suggested $750,000 would be more than sufficient. He noted his client has no criminal record, no criminal record whatsoever, surrendered voluntarily. So he's the one that surrendered to the police. He tried to surrender that night. He walked up to the police with his hands up and they rolled on right by. So he went home, surrendered to the police. And his fa has family in the county and an overwhelming claim of self-defense. Overwhelming claim of self-defense. I don't know if you guys remember, but the, either the New York Post or the New York Times I think New York, did a play-by-play play story on this <clears throat> not not too long after it happened. But they showed all the little video clips, all the pictures where it laid out everything, where Kyle was retreating in every instance. The first instance, he was retreating. Something was thrown at him. He was retreating. He got back into a corner. Turn around. Someone was reaching for his AR. If I was in that situation, I 99.9% .9 would have done the same thing. Like, how could you not? You're not going to let somebody diss on and this kid, Rosenbaum, once you see his police record, and I know Kyle had no knowledge of that at all, but this kid was not a good guy at all. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say the stuff on here, what he was convicted of. Go check out his arrest record. This guy was convicted of some vile things, and it had to do with children. So, um, 
And when he was in prison, I think he had 12 years in prison, when he was in prison, he had like numerous, I'm talking like 45, 50 violations in prison of assaulting um, inmates, corrections officers. This is, wasn't a good guy. So I get a pretty good idea what he would have done if he was able to disarm Kyle. Um, who attacked my client first, Richards asked. Rosenbaum, then the mob, and demonstrators. But the rioters, wait. All right, who attacked my client first, Richards asked. Rosenbaum, then the mob. Not demonstrators, but the rioters with ill intent in the heart. There you go. There you have it. I mean, this kid was getting attacked at every angle, and he was trying to, trying to get away from these people. All right. <clears throat> the father of one victim, an attorney for another, participating in the hearing per the provisions of the recently adopted Marcy's Law, encouraged even higher bail of $4 million. John Huber, father of Anthony Huber, said Rittenhouse has people out there that will help him, militia organizations that can raise money and harbor him. See, they think he's part of this, some kind of militia that's, it. it's just crazy. Um, he called his son, who was seen on the video striking Rittenhouse with a skateboard after Rittenhouse and killed Rosamond, a hero. So this guy's a hero. He goes up, he's a kid laying on the ground, he goes up, bashes him in the head with a skateboard, and he's a hero. Gross crowds with whom Rittenhouse wounded attended his bail hearing. She also requested $4 million bail. She said threats against her client would likely increase if Rittenhouse were out on bail, blah, 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 blah. So that's it, guys. I mean, that's that's the gist of it. Rittenhouse is uh, in Wisconsin now. He went through the extradition process. He's in Kenosha being held on $2 million bail, which I think is outrageous that the... the the argument for self-defense is so crystal clear that there are so many people that just don't see how this kid's still sitting in jail. I mean, it's crystal clear. He didn't, I mean, I don't know the laws about, you know, if you're under 18 and having a firearm. I think there's some uh, misdemeanor that he's, he's facing because of that. But every instance, this kid did nothing wrong at that, uh, that riot. Kenosha was burning. He was there to help somebody else protect their business. Um, apparently, allegedly, it looks like he put out a dumpster fire that they were that these rioters were pushing towards the gas station. He, it looks like he's the one that sprayed it out with the uh, fire hydrant, fire extinguisher. And then you see the two groups kind of converging and yelling at each other. Rosenbaum, the little short guy with the shaved head, is running up, yelling, "Shoot!" He's yelling some vile things at these guys. He's basically telling them, shoot me, shoot me. And saying the N-word. And just out of his mind, these people were just nuts. They were nuts. They were like wasps swarming Kyle. Um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this is a similar situation the McCloskey's were in. in what was that, St. Louis or something? The McCloskey's the people that went out on their property with their firearms. Because the mob broke onto private property. Screaming at home, apparently threatening them. Um, I don't know. I didn't see any video of that, but they said they were threatening them. They just had their firearms. Let you guys know, get off our property, and they faced the felony charges. They had their firearms confiscated. So I, I don't know. This isn't good, guys. This isn't good for the law-abiding citizens, the good people of this country that just just want to protect themselves and their families and their friends from the mob madness. These BLM, Antifa. Rioters, um, Marxist people that are out here destroying our country. It's just, uh, it's getting bad. And, you know, when we try to protect ourselves, these people, you know, people trying to protect themselves and their properties are going to prison. Something's got to be done about this. And I'm not sure what. So, I mean, that's my opinion on it. I think Kyle is, uh, it was self defense. I don't, I don't know how you can argue any other way. He didn't go there with any intention clearly to hurt anybody. He was trying to help people out. He was fleeing. He was trying to get away from these people. They converged on him or assaulting him, hit him with a skateboard, kicked him when he was down, trying to grab his AR. I just don't understand. Clearly, this has gone political. This is a political witch hunt, and let's just hope it turns out okay for this kid. Um, we'll see how it goes. This country's gone crazy. Like I said, we got a lot to talk about. Things are going nuts, and I think, unfortunately, they're probably going to get a little worse before they get better. Uh, I'm going to do my best to bring it. <clears throat> excuse me, bring it all to you guys. So hit the subscribe button. Join me on this journey. Greatly appreciate it. Leave me some comments here. Let me know what you guys think because I don't, 
I mean, I could be losing my mind here. I could be the only one that sees this as self-defense. But let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys. Like I said, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your friends. Take care of your family. Just know that things will get better. Just take care of yourself, all right? Peace.